If you don't want to know the truth, turn back now. If you continue on with the sad tale, you can say I didn't warn you. I bet you think circuses are all fun and games. I bet you think that all circus freaks are people like you and me who have we're having just as much fun performing as you are watching. I bet you think those freaks have always been like that. The forms and different. That is, you think that clown with two heads was born like that? You think that singer with the goat's legs got the animal parts because she was born without actual legs? You think the normal looking guy with the hair of midnight sky is another performer? Who ran away from home? But you don't care. You don't give a second thought to what the freaks are actually like. What the freaks did to make them join the circus. I bet you anything you don't know the pain and suffering we go through. You haven't heard the screaming and crying in the night. You haven't heard them begging to die. You heard smelt stench of rotting flesh. You don't know anything, not a single thing. But that's what I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to know the truth, or you're not strong enough to know, turn back now. Let's start with how those freaks joined. But join isn't the proper term, now is it? Now when every single Freight was perfectly human and got kidnapped as kids wanted to go see the circus themselves. That's right, kidnapped, stolen off the streets against their unheard screams, cries, and pleads for help. They're kicking, they're hitting, doing everything they could to get away, only to end up failing hopelessly because and becoming guinea pigs. Before the circus, there was a child with dark blue hair that finally found a home with the mother who loved him. Sure, he may have been poor. Sure, he may have had a rough life. Sure, he could have died if lived on the street anyway. But a damn circus. A damn circus ruined all his chances and opportunities at living life. A living like an actual person rather than some bloodthirsty animal. But no, no, of course. You had to take him. You had to take him at the age of nine. With childhood, they inject him with all those other things. And you know what they think to do? Do you? They turned him insane. Literally, he lost his mind. He became a legitimate cannibal. He would have happily eaten another human being. A human being. And you know what? He liked it. He liked the taste. He could eat only for human flesh. Actually, he just he preferred everything to be cold, raw, and human. He enjoyed feeling the blood swirl in his mouth and dribble down his chin. Isn't that a lovely image? And do you know why that little boy was chosen to be experimented on? Why he was he, a poor little boy who had almost died in the streets, had been chosen? Why? It was because he was a child who had yet to fill his life with good memories, rather than the thoughts of meat, blood, and more meat. Now you had to taste what I'm explaining. Now you know at least a small portion of the horrors. So I'm asking again, would you like to turn back? Because I'm about to continue. There once was a little singer with the hair of pure turquoise. The girl came from a loving family. The mother, father, and two brothers, whom she always played with. The girl's family was considered rich among many. And perhaps there was a girl's extravagant clothes that made the finest material attracted to ringmaster, or perhaps the master heard her sing a joyful tune while going into the tent. Maybe it was her hair that felt like silk, 
or her face was was perture perfect. No, no, none of that was it. Not even close. It's because she hadn't grown up. Do you know what they did to the girl? Do you have any idea? I tell you what, they detached her legs and none too gently. Then they the girl who was once known as a child with a gorgeous face with a voice that matched and the girl with legs that belonged to a goat. Can you idea how hard it is to live in such a deformed state? Legs aren't even human. As I know, I can't even remember how difficult that was. Just trying to imagine the suffering and, and horror that was brought upon the diva who cried herself tonight, every night, makes me hurt inside. I want to cry as well. The pain, the pain would be so unbearable. I'm surprised you made it this far. You must have a heart that is strong. But I'll tell you again, you could turn back. Cause I can assure you, things won't be getting any better anytime soon. The clown with the two heads. Before becoming a circus freak, do you know what it was? Do you? Of course not. No one does. Not a single soul. Until now. That freak with two kids. I said identical twins. A boy and a girl. Were in sock bowls and spurt. They're best friends. And we're always together. And do you, do you know where they had a mom and dad? Those kids had a family. They had friends. They had an amazing future in heaven. It was all ruined. All because they went to the circus. All because they didn't walk away fast enough. Because they were children. And you know what happened after? After their screams were muffled. And they were chained and strapped to a little table. They got butchered alive. They got limbs chopped off while they were unconscious. And then they truly became inseparable. They really would always be together. Until the moment they died. Cause two children became one. They were sewn together. Lumps of flesh strewn around them the whole process. And the stench of blood and death lingered in the nostrils for so long after. So long after. Just because they were cheerful children. That that isn't all. That isn't even close to the end. There's so many more, so many more tortured souls. So many children who died during the mutilations. So many of the children who wished that all the hearts they had died. So many, so many unfortunate souls who had fallen into the grasp of the ring master. You know what else? The torture didn't end there. Being chopped up into those things is probably the least painful in comparison that they would be after. But considering you made it this hard, I doubt you'll stop listening to this. So I won't bother warning you again. Do you know what happens when they made the smallest mistake? If they refuse to do something for the show? Or even if they took a step at the wrong foot? Oh no. You haven't a clue, but see, that's because the ringmaster punishes them away from straying eyes when they catch the simple acts. What is the punishment, you may ask? Acid. Yes, you read that right. Acid. Take the small and all under the ringmaster's power, and you would have the burning acid poured on your bare body. Every last drop. I think that's bad, it gets worse. Not by much, but it does get worse. I know, it's hard to believe. As if the mutilation wasn't bad enough in the acid, that's more than anyone could, should have to deal with. Human or otherwise, but you get the worst pain of all. You rocked. Yes, that's right. Next to mutilation and acid, and voila, you're a living, breathing being. It's dying and being eaten inside out. I can't even begin to explain the horror and agony of what it feels like to have your body decay and being conscious during every single second of it. When the father's freaks want to die, 
you know they're dying anyways. So slow, so painful, it's unbearable. You want to die as fast death. You know, it took a whole hour or three. Pain will be so much easier to involve in hell they went through. But it doesn't try to kill themselves. Not a hit. No, not ever. As much as they suffer, as much as they want their suffering to end, they keep going. Why? Because the circus is so much fun, that's why. It's so much fucking heat. And that's the truth. Every word, every single damn bloody word. How do you know this, you ask? Because I am the ringmaster.